Hey guys, we are at XFit Labs in White Plains, New York. I am with one of my favorite people in the fitness industry, Dr. Isaiah Robinson. How are you? So we'll get into a little bit about what we're doing today, but I'm gonna do my RMR, I'll let the doctor explain in a second, and then we're also doing my VO2 max. So I'm not really a cardio bunny, uh, but you probably heard everybody from Peter Atia to Andrew Humerman to uh, you know all the fitness bros with their short shorts. Like your VO2 max is like the new Porsche. It's like the big flex for people. And there's an actual legitimate reason why. It's one of the leading indicators of your longevity. I'll have Dr. Isaiah explain exactly what it is in a second, but uh, I've really prepped for this. I have gone through a heavy like six month strength training we were just talking about. I used to weigh about two years ago. 230? Yeah, I was like 239, 239. 39. Today I was 251. I have put on a lot of muscle uh, and probably dropped down my body fat in the last two years pretty significantly. And it's been a lot of weight training. I've still continuously done zone two. I've done some degree of hit, but actually what happened is the last three months, I really converted very much to, I still strength trained, but I was doing a heavy regimen of one to one uh, cardio. I didn't get it as far into the Norwegian protocol. I wasn't ready to fuck with that. I was like, fuck <laughs> this. But I, I will talk about what that is later. But I did a lot of one to one cardio, which is what helps build up VO2 max. And again, Dr. Isaiah will talk in depth, but I feel really, really prepped today. The last time I did it, I was like 53 was my VO2 max, which was superior range. I would like to really be high 50s this time. Um, I do feel confident about it though, because I took a lot of changes in training, especially over the last three, four months. But I know it's a long game. I know over time, but eventually I'd like to get mine into the 60s. And I'm getting to the point here where I might only want to put like, less, definitely less than five pounds more muscle on my body total. I'd like to get down my body fat a little bit to like another maybe 3% down. So I, I really long-term see myself as like a 245 pound guy who is a cardio bunny, like doing a lot more hit and stuff like that. Because I just am really at this point thinking about more of longevity than anything. Uh, I'm about to have a baby or my wife is about to have a baby for us like any fucking minute. She's like three centimeters dilated. So it's about to go down. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go back and do one more training group and then uh, it's it's baby time. So I'm Dr. Isaiah Robinson. I own XFit Lab. I am a board certified chiropractor. I've been in practice for almost, uh, it'll be 18 years now. Uh, we started metabolic testing in 2015. So this will be the 10 year anniversary. Amazing. And we've been doing RMR and VO2 max testing for mostly athletes. But now that it's gained popularity, yeah. it's open to the masses. Your RMR, what we're looking at is what it's called is your resting metabolic rate. And what we want to do is we want to be able to measure that if we're going to make any changes. If yeah. you're going to make changes to your caloric intake or your diet, you want to have an actual measured number. So we're going to do that through indirect telemetry. I'm going to hook Jake up to a mask. Yep and we're gonna recline them back and have them be through that nice and slow. When I have a client come on to the program, we do a series of complex estimates and we get a ton of information from them, but this is a precise measurement, so I objectively know where to put your calories at, and it does change how we make decisions. Uh, you know, I even had just a client in here recently, she saw you, her calories were under because we were trying to make estimates with her, and she just she eats out a lot, so there's a lot of like equation, but the more precise we can get the measurement, instead of being like, oh, here's your rounding error, or here's the margin of error, the better off we are. So VO2, we're gonna take the same machine through indirect telemetry, and we're gonna measure how well Jacob uses oxygen. Right, and that's measured in milliliters of oxygen over his kilogram, so Correct. over his body weight. Correct. And we're gonna get a number, and that number in range with his age will tell me how well he is compared to the normal population. You should look at your VO2 max as essentially part of your physical, right? Yeah. Your primary care doctor is not doing a VO2 max in the office, but you should be doing it yearly to twice a year to you know, every four years just as a checkup to make sure that your cardiovascular health isn't declining dramatically. By the way, I have a really good relationship with my concierge doctor in the world. I have nothing but positive things to say, but there are some doctors that do VO2 max, but it's really pricey when you go through it because I get it, it's a medical facility, whatever. Uh, this is a very reasonable price for getting VO2 max. I'm actually gonna get my VO2 max, uh, my RMR, done for less than just my VO2 max would be from the concierge doctor that I see. So it's super, super reasonably priced and I would recommend anybody who's at least considers themselves an intermediate about training, go get your RMR done, go get your VO2 max. And if you're in the Westchester area, come see Dr. Isaiah here because just a wonderful human being with a wonderful facility. Let's get to it. RMR first. Uh, this bad boy on me? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hold the left side for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. And I'm going to center that heart rate strap right a little bit. Close it and you can bring that back down. Right. All right. So I'm basically going to pop this bad boy on. He's going to take it. I think I have to sit still for like 15 minutes. Uh, approximately. Yeah. 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 Great. So you just put a mask on. You sit still for like 15 minutes and they're seeing how much. And that's not only the calories that you burn. They're seeing the ratio of fat to carbohydrates that you burn. It gives you a really accurate measurement of how many calories you burn at a resting state. And from there, you can then start to calculate how much workload you do. So, for example, if my RMR is... 4,000 calories, right? Um, then I can predict, okay, well, I'm weight training five days a week, I'm doing X amount of cardio, and I can add those numbers together, and we come up with what's known as your TDEE, -E, total daily energy expenditure. Again, if you're going online, you're just simply calculating stuff, you can Google it, you can Google like TDE calculator, and it will walk you through, but it's making estimates on your RMR. So you're putting in an estimate and then it's calculating that estimate and then you're having to put an estimate of your workload in there. So you end up with a fundamentally, you know, not precise number as in with this though, I'll get an exact number. Uh, let me slide that through. Yep, you're good. So I calibrate the machine and that just calibrates the ambient air, the oxygen in that ambient air so that we know that we're going to get an accurate result. That's what All right. Is. And we're in action mode. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed your flight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's a nice prep because the first part, you're relaxing with that fucking thing on your face. Second part, you're on an air dime with that thing on your face. So, a little preparatory. Uh, by the way, it's, I'm joking. It's totally painless. You're just laying back. You can just relax and chill out. But when you do have that on your face when you're riding a bike or you're running, that's a different story. It's, it does add to it. If you brought anything, great. Have a snack. You perfect. Amazing. Did you? You're running or assault bike? Assault bike. My man. All right. Famous last time. So, so I don't do the bike because one, I'm just not a good runner. I just don't have the technique for it to do long distance running. I'm fine if I sprint or any of that kind of stuff, but I'm not technique wise. I'm not a sound long term, and I don't think it's even. Maybe a little bit of technique thing, but I think it's also just a reality of how I'm built. I think my hip flexor really gets beat up at my weight when I'm running for a long time. Like I've done long runs and like my heart rate will be like 140 and I'm done. And like when I get done, my hip flexor is stiff for like days. <laughs> so that's why I'd rather do this. Since it's been two years for me testing Jacob, I don't want to use the exact same protocol if his cardiovascular system has changed. Yeah. So what we're going to do is a quick parameter check. Okay. I'm going to see at what wattage your heart rate gets between 100 and 110. Okay. And then what you think you can hold for two minutes. Okay. All right. Nice and easy. Okay. Ready? Go. Let's go. All right, 100 watts. 100, well, lower than that, I already hear you. So it's like blowing like 140. <laughs> what I'm looking for is to start him off at a really not intense pace because the whole, when we capture his breath by breath data, I wanted to, his heart rate to move up so slowly that we're actually being able to pair how his body is using fuel to that heart rate. You want me to get to 110 or am I moving too fast? I think that's perfect. Let's say a one, let's say around 150. Let's see. How's that feeling? Okay. Let's go to 300. For Jacob's protocol, what we're going to do is 150 watts for the first three minutes. And then after that, those initial three minutes, we're going to go up by 30 watts. So 150, 180, 210. Yeah. And we're gonna go up until he's physically exhausted. He's better at science push. than algebra. <laughs> Goal is to get over 400. Yeah, I'd love to get near 500. I will tell you my limiting factor on this in terms of how far I can go will really be my quads. The only thing I really did this week is on Tuesday and Wednesday, I did zone two where I walked in a treadmill and I actually did that intentionally it wasn't really about the cardio, it was to make sure my legs weren't sore today. Cause sometimes when you delay training, your legs will get like a second round of soreness. So I really like did that intentionally just so my legs could be at the best today. My limiting factor, not concerning my VO2 max, but my capacity to do threshold here will be how much my quads burn up while doing this exercise. All right, relax okay. those arms. We're gonna slide this bad boy on. Any, uh, 
Words? Words. All right, let's fucking do this, guys. I am going to try it. to push myself past 400 watts. My goal here is to be dry heaving when this is done. I don't want to leave anything on the table. Right, let's right, fucking right, roll, right. dude. Good to see you, brother. In 30 seconds, we're gonna bump it up slightly. We're going to 180. Now we're gonna go every minute after that, okay? You got one more round. You got one more round. Let's go, Jacob. 15 seconds. Nice, Jacob. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. You're not there yet. You're still working. You're still working. You're so close, Jacob. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You're not there yet. You got one more round. You got one more round. Let's go, Jacob. 15 seconds. You're going to go up to 450. You got this. Big D. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We're going to 450. Nice, Jacob. Three, two. One, four, fifty, push, 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 push. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. wee um. Great job, Wood. Oh. Mm. 55, 61. That's awesome. So That's awesome. He has to keep wearing the mask for about two and a half minutes. Yes. Just so we're capturing. That's great. Calm down. So. That's great. So, yeah. How, uh... You blew, you blew up. I didn't, you didn't get to 1.0 already all. You got to like 0.99. Oh. Which means that you still had a little bit more, but... I'm so happy with that. We went from 53 to 55.6. 55.6. That's awesome. Right. That's awesome, guys. I said, what my goal was, was to get over 400 watts. I did that. Oh, no, wait. Get your breath. You got 12 seconds. I'll take it off your feet. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So I'm super happy. My goal was to get in the mid 50s. Fuck oh, yeah. Crushed it. Mid 50s. And my goal is to get a past 400 because last time I think I gave up at like 380. I think 380. Yeah. 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 So we got to 420 this time. Yeah. You yeah. and you looked. I we could have squeezed another. We could have squeezed 450 out. You think so? Yeah. I, I so. might have been able to. I might, I'll tell you what. The, the, the mentality was was just so incredible because last time I did it, it was none of that. It was no cardio, and my head was clear. My but my legs are just like oh, oh man. These bad boys are gonna be toast. Uh, so guys, just, I mean, fun experience, amazing experience, super sport. You're playing the music you wanna play. You got somebody coaching you the whole time. He's so dialed in and in the zone. I can't speak to the experience enough. And just like, it's very nice to meet people uh, that what you see is what you get. And so somebody who's passionate about the science is just an awesome human being. Exfit Labs, Westchester, New York. Regardless of where you are in the fucking country, you're watching this, go get your VO2 max in. I'm dead serious. If you're spending, money on creatine, vitamin D, fish oil, all that stuff, and you think that this is a waste of money, you're out of your fucking mind because the correlation with vitality is greater than that. This is the leading thing that you can do to see where you're actually at. I think it's 175 for VO2 max. Yep. I mean, it's a no-brainer, guys. Again, if you're spending money on all that stuff, especially if you're buying pre-workout or anything, or you get a cup of coffee every morning, stop getting a cup of coffee for a morning for fucking six months and fucking go do this. Anybody, <laughs> anybody should fucking do this. Stop buying the next fucking whatever, Nike whatever, or Lulu whatever. Fucking order the Amazon generic version for the fucking couple of months. <laughs> Come do this. <laughs> the best. Good job, dude. That was Thank awesome. Thank you, dude. I'm really happy with that. That was awesome.